Well, how's everyone doing here? Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this was on the Venator, or Class Republic Attack Cruiser, from 2009, of course. So, let's start off with the things like always. So now, as you can see, we would have a clone pilot, who, which is common in a few other sets from the, from this time and also a year prior, of course. And then Clone Gunner, which did also come in the Clone Trooper Battle Pack and a couple others. So, probably, which is to go with a like feature or two with this set. And then next to which we would have a a Senator Commander Trooper, which you actually get two of in this set. So, as you can see, do have some. Quite interesting in, uh, torso printing, and none of any of which have any leg printing, which wasn't very common at the time. And but as for the senator troopers here, is as you can see the helmet printing, quite interesting and quite and done quite good. Nice printing on it, of course, and and underneath each trooper, which is the traditional clone face, but Clone War style version. And of course, these in which did come in like around two other sets, of which like the Cad Bane's uh, Speeder the following year, and then a whole battle pack in 2015 or so. Yeah. And then last of which is the only exclusive to this set, of which is Chancellor Palpatine, and this of which only ever wait to get. Him. And of course, this of which is Clone Wars version, or Clone Wars version of Palpatine, voiced by Tim Curry, of course. And so now, as for his torso printing, uh, done pretty good, or quite all right for the time. But if he were remade ever, he would it would probably have some more detail to it, of course. And also the hair piece of which the traditional widow's peak hair piece, as some of you like to call it, or as you can see, but of course in tan, nice to see there, and his and face printing. Although it, it's the Clone War style, but at least it does well capture his appearance from the show, of course. But despite the, or despite the long pointy nose that he also has in the show, for, yeah, but whatever. And also, as for these shoulder pad kind of piece kind of bits, which do look like uh, pauldrons that most stormtroopers and clone troopers tend to have, but uh, not sure what that's about, but whatever. And also, and if you look on the back torso printing of each of them, there's just no double side faces on all of these, and nor any back torso print. Nor no Chancellor Palpatine, no back torso printing in there, but whatever. And at least a back torso printing on the other figures, all quite similar and kind of the same, but yeah. And for this minifigure lineup, at least you get. Uh, two senator troopers right here and of course you get a couple of various clone troopers there although if you quite uh, stand around through most episodes of the clone wars that this uh, ship the venators in that you would probably notice that there are some various characters like uh, some of those republic officers and obviously more clone troopers aboard it. Although it would have been nice if some of those figures were included in this set, but maybe that would have driven the price up of this set a little more. But if this were remade, I would ex expect to see that in it. But at least good selection it is. And now on to the Republic of or Class Cruiser, or AKA the Venator itself. And as you can see, this is which quite great set, or quite impressive set that we got only just this once, but, and of course, build a which quite similar to that of most uh, Star Destroyers and all. And of course, of course, the same range, of course, but yeah. 
but as for like this hour part, but like the Trump part bit of which, kind of similar to most Star Destroyer sets, but and of course with a whole lot of dark red tiling thing on the uh, center part of it, like that, and of course a couple of grilled pieces on there and plates as well, but and also if you notice the large uh, plate pieces here, which are actually stickers, of course, but. But now there is quite few stickers in this set, of course. But on like the side parts of each of both, do you have the spring load or flick fire missile kind of pieces, but just used as uh, regular gun turrets there, which do turn up and down. And as you can see from this side view, a little bit of hollow space to it, but it's kind of what was common at the time. And like this front part of which, which does have one of those car engine pieces and the astromech droid headpiece acting as the front bit of it of course and as for the, as moving further down you have, you have some interesting use of some uh, angling of plate pieces there and as for this center part of which which actually slides right on out and of course, this is where you can put your uh, little bombing feature into it, which I'll go over later. So, well, the rod that was sticking out, you can stick it out either way, either either direction you want. But, and so now, as for the side of it, which kind of like the like most of the uh, Star Destroyer sets kind of do, but did was use various pieces to represent uh, little blaster bits to it, but not shooting, but they don't shoot or anything, and of course. And as for this upper part, which, which may be kind of quite hard to do in minifig scale, like most of these larger sets kind of do, but at least it's done pretty well or like this. And of course, have those venting pieces, like on the earlier Millennium Falcon sets, of course. And interesting thing is that if you notice these Technic bits here, which you can actually hold right out, and it's the a quite convenient carrying handle to swoosh around with, which making it quite fun to do so. And and, and correct me if I'm wrong. I think this, which might have been the first to have that, or the 2007 motorized at at or at at walker or probably did so it was that one yeah but of course didn't see that on until with most other sets in later years but yeah but at least good to see that here or making it one of the first times of that but as for this back part of which but as you can see has a few bit of jagged slopes right on in here but also, these, these back engines here, of it. quite reminiscent to that of the Imperial Star Destroyers, of course, but at least they kind of stick out a little bit more, and also done with uh, trans blue cylinder pieces to that, and also a few trans blue studs in there as well. But as for the a couple two features that are back in this back area is this top part which you can pull right out and as you see has a little large slope that has a sticker on it for a control panel that's kind of showing what's going on on the venator on this venator and of course enough room to fit your clone pilot mini fig on to of course and then just slide back in like so. And as for this lower part of which, you can like lower this part down and then pull right on out this, oh, what's supposed to be a little escape pod that you can open up and fit a fig right into a course. So good use. So a nice feature, so good nice feature to include here.
pushing out onto the other side here, which, as you can see, perfect symmetry like all of these, except for that little rod bit to it, which is for another one of the feature main features of this. But turn that and. It bombs away. So, which, so that feature, quite just about like uh, many Y wing set or most Y wing sets, but instead of having it part of the set, it's actually really a whole removable section. Oh, which quite nice for that, of course. And another feature is if you can lift this part up and also lift that part down and then get on this and then it's like pull out this smallish torrent, of course. See, with a little seat there to fit your clone gunner minifig onto, of course. And also made a few pieces representing a black. And also above are the foot fire missile whoops. Okay, there's of course the flip flyer missile, which if this were done nowadays, probably use like probably the newer style stud shooters, of course. And kind of interesting how there's both the traditional flip fire missiles used as is, or and another down here representing another detail or something. Kind of interesting how that is, and of course the slide in slide in now quite nicely on both sides. So at least good fun feature there. Oh, and now also for the this part of which this whole top part opens right on up. And of course you get plenty of bit of interior space, unlike most kind of like most of Star Destroyers and sets, and the recent Imperial Light Cruiser kinda did. Where it was where most of the interior space was just this, when the rest of which was just for structure, or of course, and and so now for some details to that is a large plate piece that, uh, which is just another large sticker on it, of course, and of course a couple of spots to put your put your senator troops into, of course, and also for Chancellor Palpatine's desk, which done quite goodly, like. Yet another sticker for that button panel bits. And whereas for the throne there, oh, it's done quite nicely with the slopes and everything. And of course, enough space, and of course, enough room to fit your Palpatine minifig onto, of course. And also, good use for this spot for, to fit this crate bit, which you can also, oh whoops, also take on out and also a, with a tile piece that has it also has a sticker on there and also you can pop that off and then you got the Death Star plans. Oh, let me focus there. Of course. Yes, the Death Star plans, but on a translucent red minifig headpiece, so quite neat use a piece for that, which even though in the uh, 2013, in the one set in 2013 that also had that, but it was on a uh, trans orange uh, cylinder piece, so kind of quite neat, nice to see a different version of it right here. Although that which was kind of more accurate to that, to the films of course, and how they get it onto there is on that little technic pin bit there, so very good, interesting use of the building technique there, obviously. And of course, can close it back up and fits quite greatly, of course. And so now for my overall version. So from 
my overall verdict, I think this is a really cool, fun set. Well, for 2009, well, I'm sure that for 2009, it was a great set, of course. Like, good meme fake selection, plenty of good play value, and some good uh, building techniques all over, of course, and yeah. But also this, which, well, nowadays, still kind of lives up to that. But if this ever did get remade nowadays, I would expect it to be pretty much about as good as this. Well, especially with Springle launchers and foot fire missiles and all. And also a little better, different selection of things, including Chancellor Palpatine. And also, I'm kind of bummed. Also, it's kind of frustrating about why Chancellor Palpatine was exclusive to just this one. Which, if you look at most of the Clone Wars, or episodes of Clone Wars does appear in other uh, uh, positions and all, of course. But although it would have been nice if he did so, although that his rarity kind of makes him a little bit uh, rare and whatnot. But although, well, if this were remade, I expect him to be included in that as well, of course. But uh, for as it is, I can kind of forgive some techniques of it, but still but it's of course still great to see here and of course but yeah and so now if y'all still have this set from back in the day well i hope you had some great memories of it and for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set i'd say definitely pick it up ebay bricklink whatever well if you can but yeah or if you have the money to also get it any of those also worth trying to but yeah and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.